Hello, children. Today we're going to read a fairy tale from this treasury. We are going to read about Rapunzel. Rapunzel. John and his wife Nell lived in a pleasant cottage in a small village. More than anything, they wished for a child. Next door lived a wicked witch named Helga. She had a house with a big garden. Helga wished for a child too. One day, Nell had a sign that she would have a baby. That same day, she saw some Rapunzel lettuce growing in the witch's garden. It looked so green and fresh. Nell cried, "I must have some of that lettuce." John loved her so much that he risked picking some of that lettuce for her. How dare you steal my Rapunzel! The witch screamed when she came upon him. You will pay dearly for this. John explained about his wife's hunger for the lettuce. Unappeased, Helga said, "Very well." Take all the lettuce you like, but when the baby is born, it will be mine. John was so shaken that he agreed. Nell ate a very great deal of Rapunzel lettuce, and in time, a beautiful little girl was born. She had blue eyes and golden hair. Her parents loved her at once. The next day. Helga came to claim the child as her own. True to his word, John sadly let the witch take the child away. The old hag named her Rapunzel, and spirited the baby away to a distant land. Rapunzel's thick golden hair grew fast and long. Helga loved to show off the beautiful child. One evening, when Rapunzel was twelve years old, Helga used her powers to call the great raven of the north. She told him to carry Rapunzel away to a high tower in a forest. The raven did as he was told, and Helga was waiting when they arrived. She imprisoned Rapunzel in the tower. Which had no doors or stairs, and only one chamber at the top. Rapunzel was frightened when the witch went away, but the but the raven stayed through the first night and made soft sounds to soothe her. He felt sorry for Rapunzel, but he had no powers of his own. He could not defy Helga's will. The next morning, Rapunzel heard Helga calling from outside the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel wound her long tresses around a hook next to the window, and let down her hair. It looked like spun gold. Helga caught up the strands and climbed the side of the tower. She stayed with Rapunzel only a short time. Bringing her food and water. Every morning, Helga came and called to Rapunzel, and every morning, Rapunzel let down her long, beautiful hair. But Rapunzel was still lonely. She made friends with the birds who flew by her window, and they taught her to sing beautifully. She spent many hours singing to the forest. The rabbits, the foxes, the deer, even the bears and the wolves loved to hear Rapunzel singing. They stopped whenever they were in the forest and listened. On some days, the squirrels or a raccoon might climb up the tower wall and bring Rapunzel some nuts or a juicy apple. The little bluebird came every morning to perch on Rapunzel's door sill, window sill. Rapunzel named her Sky, 
because the bird was as beautiful as the heavens and as happy as a little sunbeam. Every morning, Sky sang with Rapunzel and then flew away just as Helga approached the tower. After Rapunzel had been in the tower for a long, long time, a handsome prince came riding through the forest on a mission for his father, the king. Suddenly, he heard a beautiful voice singing somewhere among the trees. He guided his horse toward the enchanting sound. When he got closer, the singing stopped and a harsh voice called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The prince was amazed to see the beautiful long hair and the ugly witch climbing up it. He wanted to hear the girl sing again, but the witch stayed. The prince vowed he would return one day, and so he rode on to carry out his royal task. As the prince rode back through the forest on his way home, he came again to the tower. All was quiet. He walked to the foot of the tower and called, as he had heard Helga call, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. At once, Rapunzel came to the window, but she hesitated because the voice was strange. When she saw the prince, she let down her hair and the prince climbed swiftly to her window. Sing for me, he begged her. Rapunzel was so happy that she sang more sweetly than ever before. Every day after that, the prince climbed up to see Rapunzel and every day she sang for him. The prince really enjoys her beautiful singing. Now one day, Helga arrived at the tower earlier than usual. When she came near, she heard Rapunzel singing. The song was so sweet that Helga knew something had happened. She crept close to the tower and watched. Soon, she heard Rapunzel telling the prince goodbye. She watched him climb down from the tower on the golden hair, then ride away through the forest. Someone had tricked me, Helga screeched. She dashed home without leaving water and food for Rapunzel. Back in her own cottage, she stormed and stomped and shrieked that someone was trying to steal her own beautiful daughter. When evening came, Helga called forth all her powers and summoned the great Raven of the North. Take them both, commanded Helga. Fly them to the poorest, most miserable kingdom on earth and leave them there. Then they will be unhappy all their lives. As the Raven reached the tower, he saw Rapunzel and the prince escaping from the tower on the girl's tresses. She had cut off her hair and tied it to the window hook. The raven grasped the two with his claws and started for the far country. The two held each other close, and Rapunzel, still happy to be with her prince, began to sing. The music had charmed and enchanted the creatures of the forest. When Rapunzel was trapped in the tower, now stirred the raven's heart. The song seemed to say to him that no matter how difficult life could be, all that mattered was being with the ones we love. The music and words gave the great blackbird the strength to disobey Helga's orders. So instead of taking them to a barren kingdom, the raven flew Rapunzel and the prince straight to the girl's humble cottage. At the sound of the great wings flapping, Rapunzel's parents, John and Nell, came outside. To their surprise and delight, 
they saw their beautiful child once again. The prince then asked John for his daughter's hand in marriage. The proud father gladly gave the young couple his heartiest blessing. Soon after, the prince and Rapunzel were married in a splendid ceremony. They took Rapunzel's parents with them to live in the king's castle far, far away. The wicked witch, who did not know that the raven had defied her, lived out her days in loneliness and was never heard from again. The End Thanks for reading about Rapunzel's story with me today, children. We'll read again next time. Goodbye!